Hello, welcome to your weekly soul print tarot reading. This is for the week of August 13th through the 19th. We're going with pastel colors today. We're just going to call this orange and pink and yellow. Um, take a moment. There may be one, two, or even all three that resonate with you, and that's okay. Um, just take a moment, see what calls out to you. And while you're doing that, I'd like to thank you all very, very much for joining me here today and continuing to support these weekly readings. All right, let's get started with the orange one. It's really a sherbet color. I quite like this color, but in any case, all right, here we go. Judgment. Hanging Man, Two of Cups, and Strength. So, um, you know, interesting, you have three of the four cards are High Arcana cards. So, this is a strong and powerful message. So, we're going to start with the Judgment card. Now, you know, sometimes Judgment can be about um, karma. It can be about you know, receiving um, karma on one side of the scale or the other. It can also be about literally waiting for a judgment. So based on the other cards, it really feels almost as if this judgment card has to do with, it almost feels like something that you were waiting to have happen. So whether that was, you know, you were waiting for documents to be processed or whether um, there was sort of a new beginning, a new start, and you, there was sort of a pause and you, you had to um, just allow things to sort of unfold. With the hangman here, it tells me that the unfolding perhaps took a little bit longer than you had wanted or anticipated. And as such, um, you know, it made sort of for kind of a frustrating period of time where you knew how you wanted to move forward, you knew what you wanted to take place, but yet somehow, it, you know, it was like almost, it feels like sort of like a timing thing where you just couldn't get things to move forward. From what I can tell is this pertained to a partnership of some kind. Now, this could be a romantic partnership. This could be a business partnership. Um, the Two of Cups is sort of about a soulmate connection, but very often, you know, that can be about just friends. But whatever it is, it feels very much as if there was a pause as you were sort of waiting for the Two of Cups energy to kind of come into your life and to be able to start almost or to be able to continue on the Two of Cups journey. It's followed by the Strength card. So, the bottom line with these cards is it looks as if whatever that pause was, whatever that judgment was that you were waiting for, I mean, it could be something as simple as like a business license or, um, you know, documentation pertaining to one thing or another, but there was definitely a decision that was needing to be made. It took a little longer or was more convoluted perhaps than you anticipated. With the Two of Cups here, it feels like it's now time to move this venture forward. And the Strength card is saying, you know what? You have this. You got this. It it took a while to get to where you're going. But at this place point, you know who you, know, you are. You know what you want. You know what direction you want to move things in. And there, you know, you're being asked to, you know, Lean on and depend on your strength, your wisdom, your understanding and your knowledge to allow this thing to, you know, kind of unfold and, and play forward. You'll notice that the Two of Cups and the Strength card both have lions um, predominant in the cards. And so this really is about a coming together. It could even be a coming together of, of you with, with somebody who has 
you know, kind of where, where one is weaker, the other one is stronger and vice versa. So there is sort of the indication that if you play to your strength and allow the other person to do so as well, that it will create a very balanced and blended kind of situation as you move forward. So whatever this is, it's time now to start moving forward or it will very soon be time to allow yourself to move forward on this Two of Cups journey. All right. Mm, let's look at a pink one. This is a really lovely, lovely sort of chunk of uh, rose quartz. It's quite beautiful. All right. What does rose quartz have to tell us? Seven of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. It's the Pentacles. All right. So the Seven of Wands is very often about, you know, holding your ground, right? It is about, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's viewed as sort of fighting off all, all comers, but it really is about having the higher ground, taking the higher ground, keeping yourself in a position where you are defending or protecting yourself, but that, you know, you are more than capable of doing so. I like the Three of Pentacles following this because the Three of Pentacles very often talks about that um, kind of friendship energy. It talks about three people or three areas coming together where there is strength and wisdom and knowledge within. You know, in, in the more traditional tarot card, the Three of Pentacles is about three master craftsmen. And that's what this feels like. It feels like with the help of friends, you're going to be able to move this situation forward. The Knight of Wands cautions you to, you know, listen to the words carefully. Think about your actions carefully. Understand that you need to be sort of cautious without the fear of moving forward, okay? So it's kind of like, you know what? You want to go into the situation with your eyes opened and allow yourself to begin the process, but doing so, you know, carefully. You want to make sure that you're not jumping where you should be walking, and the Ace of Pentacles is very, you know, usually it is about like a new resource coming to you, an influx of, of money, an influx of, um, you know, the material aspects of your life. It can also represent the start of a successful venture, important documents, gifts, that kind of thing. So... This is an interesting grouping of cards because it's sort of talking about um, with the help of friends, you're going to be able to move forward and create this new financial beginning or this new beginning with um, assets or, or important papers, etc. Because you're starting off in a place where, frankly, you have the high ground, but you there is a need or a feeling that you have to continue to protect what you have. Reach out or accept the help of other people who are knowledgeable in this field and allow their wisdom to also become part of the tapestry um, as you're moving this forward. So I'm not exactly clear, honestly, about what this pertains to, but that's okay because this is a general reading. And if you have picked the Rose Quartz, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but all indications are that this, whatever this is, it's going to move forward in a way that is going to ultimately be very, very beneficial to you. And let's take a peek at this yellow crystal and what do we have here we have the 
the Page of Swords, the Chariot, Three of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So, the Page of Swords. It's talking about, you know, happy news, information coming forward that, um, I don't know, it almost feels like it helps you determine the direction you're going to go forward in. It helps you find clarity about uh, perhaps something that you've been waiting for. But there's definitely an energy of moving forward in a way that feels it's sort of productive and happy, and it feels as if um, it, it, it's just a good, a good feeling. Because it's followed by the chariot, I'm kind of inclined to think that whatever this represents, this page of, of swords, what follows is a period of kind of busyness. Um, it feels very much like there is a um, a process that you are going to be moving forward. And with the Three of Wands, it's talking about kind of those initial accomplishments um, allowing you to continue your progress, okay? So very often, the, the Three of Wands is about, you know, the completion of the first stage, okay? Um, and now it's time to move forward with confidence and clarity. And the Ten of Pentacles is, is you know, I mean, we all know what the Ten of Pentacles is, right? I mean, that is about, um, you know, financial and family stability. It is about, you know, property. It is about increasing your assets. Sometimes it can be about, um, you know, larger organizations or charities or that kind of thing. So, you know, this could be good news, for example, about getting a job or hearing about, you know, being hired somewhere. Um, and then as a result, things start moving forward very quickly. There is that initial period of time where you are kind of... Um, starting to see how you play a role, what your role is in the situation. And that, of course, is leading you to prosperity and abundance. Um, but this can apply to just about any any area of your life. This could be moving forward with a business. It could be moving forward with a move. Perhaps you are trying to sell a piece of property. And again, the same thing applies. Once a property gets listed and sold, Things start moving very, very quickly. The initial stuff is done, meaning that, you know, perhaps as you were getting the house ready to list, there was furniture or packing that was taken out, that kind of thing. And now you're ready to progress to the next step. And again, it's taking you to a good, solid place, not only financially, but it, it very much has to do with stability within your family as you move forward. Lovely. All right. So for the week of August 3rd through the 19th, I wish you a happy week. And I look forward to seeing you here next week at the same time. Take care now. Bye-bye.